Hey guys, I am Game Advisor, and today we're going to be going over our Psyker Guide. In this video, we're going to be talking about how you should be playing the Psyker, what their best loadouts are, as well as just a bunch of information you may not have known about the Psyker in order to help you get started. Now, with all that being said, if you want to save money on games, make sure to go check out Humble Bundle. Humble Bundle is a great site that you can check out by hitting the link down below in the description, as it allows you to help support charity, help support our channel, and save money all at the same time, as it has tons of great discounts on tons of great games. It is totally safe, and once again, if you want to check it out, just make sure to click the link down in the description. Now, Dark Tide is a game that allows you to choose one of four different classes, and if you want something that's fresh and really doesn't feel like any of the others, I highly recommend you pick up Psyker, as it does not really play the same. Psyker is first and foremost going to be an elite killer and a backliner, so just keep that in mind if you're picking it your first time through, since it is going to be that kind of a playstyle where you're sitting in the back picking off elites and allowing your team to deal with the massive hordes. Now, Psyker's main mechanic is their Peril Meter. The way this works is as you use your psychic powers, regardless of whether or not they were used with a weapon or just used with an ability, it will start to increase your Peril Meter. If this reaches 100% and you don't find a way to quickly reduce that Peril Meter, you will then explode and die after a short animation. You have to be super cautious of this as even the best players easily die to this when under heavy pressure. Now, there are a few different ways for you to reduce that peril meter when you want to. The first and foremost is simply just waiting it out. Not complicated, just keep playing the game and don't use anything peril related for a short period of time. Following that is meditating. Meditating really isn't complicated as essentially it's basically your reload for your psychonetic abilities and you can do it with any psychonetic weapon, whether it be a staff, a psychonetic force sword, or just your base psychonetic abilities. Next is just simply killing enemies. Every time you kill an enemy, you'll have a 10% chance to reduce your peril charge by, well, 10%. Not complicated, super easy to trigger. And lastly, you can use your Blitz ability. Psyker's Blitz ability is Psychonetic Wrath. This pushes back all targets in front of you and reduces your peril meter by 50%. This is great for trying to knock targets off of platforms and trying to just give your team some breathing room. But don't let this stop you from using it just to dump your peril charge even if nothing is nearby for you to push. It has a pretty short cooldown and it is incredibly important for you to keep pumping out damage and being ready to deal with an elite at any point in time. I also like to save it for whenever I'm in danger of hitting 100% peril and then trigger it right when I hit 100% as it's the only ability you can use while doing that exploding animation in order to save yourself. Now, most classes in Dark Tide will have some grenade-like ability, and Psyker is no different except for the fact that their grenade slot is an ability called Brain Burst. This lets you explode the heads of your enemies. It's great for taking out heavily armored enemies, such as say a Shield Ogren or a high HP enemy, such as say a Mutant. This is because it does a huge amount of damage and ignores armor. Every time you kill an enemy with this ability, you will gain a charge of Warp Siphon. This gives you a flat damage increase buff that can stack by quite a bit. It's important to note that this will go away after a short period of time, but there's enough time for you to keep it up and weave in some other attacks along the way since this will also increase all of your damage, not just your Brain Burst damage. Now, every class in Dark Tide will bring some kind of a passive buff to their team that does not stack with the same class, and Psyker is no different. They get what is called Kinetic Presence, which will provide their team with a 10% damage increase to all elites as long as they're within a certain range of you. Loadout-wise, it's really up to you, but I would recommend that you bring one of the different staffs for your offhand, as they don't have any ammo requirements which will allow you to give more ammo to the rest of your team, and they're very useful in a number of different ways. For an example, there's one staff that provides you with a Force Lightning-like ability in order to stun incoming elites and clear out hordes. This is absolutely great if you see a mutant rushing in and you just want to stun it really quick instead of actually killing it because you don't have time to charge up the kill but still want to prevent your team from taking that damage. There are a few different other viable secondary weapons for you to choose from, but as long as you're choosing a staff, they're all pretty much viable. As far as your melee weapon goes, I would just recommend you use the Force Sword as they have a great AoE pushback and cover most of your single target and AoE needs. They're great overall, and honestly, in my opinion, probably just the flat-out best choice for you to take as a Psyker. 
Now, feats are important, but since this is a beginner guide, we're not going to really delve into those as there's a lot of different builds you can use, and that's going to take a while to cover as it deserves a video in and of itself. So let's just move on to talking about how you should actually be playing a Psyker inside of a game. Now, as a Psyker, your number one role, as we covered earlier, is going to be to clear elites as fast as possible. This means you will need to learn their sounds in order to figure out which elites are nearby so that you're prepared for them when they show up. Your target priority should be the shield ogren followed by any other ogrens, snipers, any crowd controlling elites such as a trapper or a mutant, and then any ranged attackers followed by just helping out with whatever is the current biggest issue. Do keep in mind you don't always have to follow this kill order, but it's just a good rule of thumb to use whenever you're in a bad situation. Your team can handle pretty much everything else on their own, but your priority targets are going to be things like shield ogrens because you are by far and away the best one at handling them. It's important to note that when you target enemies with your Psyker abilities, that you can actually start the cast and then hide behind some cover in order to prevent the damage while you finish casting it. This will save you a ton of HP, and since you're a squishy Psyker, that's going to be pretty darn important. You can also keep your head on a swivel, since you don't have to keep looking at the target while casting in order to call out things that are incoming, such as elites from behind or a small horde that you might need help with. Lastly, you want to make sure that you stay in the back of the party. This isn't to say that you are worthless in melee, just that your primary role is in the back so that you're ready to deal with any incoming elites as soon as possible. In other words, you don't want to get stuck in a brawl and then have a shield ogre show up and have no one able to deal with it since you have 20 small little enemies trying to kill you. It'd be much better if you let somebody else deal with those while you took a step back and were ready to kill that shield ogre as soon as possible. Now, of course, there are tons of little nuances for you to learn while playing Psyker, but this should hopefully get you started. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to like and subscribe as we put out new content all the time. Otherwise, I want to give a big shout out to our Platinum and Above channel members, which include Caustic FPV, Jonathan S, and Jim Phillips. Thank you all so much for watching. I'm Game Advisor, and I'll see you next time.